What's up guys, Stevie J here, Beyond the Details. I got another unboxing slash first impressions on a few products here. Uh, the first is gonna be the iPad mini Gen 6, um, 64 gigabyte space gray. It is the lowest um, model you can buy, $499.99. Um, I have an iPad Pro 12.9, one terabyte M1. Uh, and I have my gaming laptop um, right here. I'll show you guys. I have a Mac mini set up also here. So this is just going to be for business purposes when I'm on to go, I'm a detailer. Uh, so when I'm not doing appointments and whatnot, I'll be able to just use iPad Mini. It's just a lot portable and better to have around. Um, next thing, with alongside this, we're going to go ahead and open up the folio case. Um, I might do a separate video, a brief video on this, but I am going to open it up, put it on there, and give my first impression on it. And then the third product is going to be the Apple Pencil 2. Um, I do have one of these already for the M1 iPad, uh, but I wanted to get, go ahead and get a second one that could be dedicated strictly to the iPad Mini, um, so I don't have to, you know, carry around one pencil. Um, I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and uh, do the unbox. Uh, first thing we're going to unbox and give a review on is going to be the new iPad Mini 6. Um, we're going to go ahead and start it up so I can let you guys see how long it would take when you first get it to boot up and etc. Et it does have the A15 Bionic. Um, which is a powerful chip. Um, I believe it's the same chip that was on the um, my iPad 12 Pro Max. Um, I'll show you guys what I'm using as far as cell phones. Um, I do have a Fold 3 and I'm using the Galaxy Classic Watch 4 with that. And then I also have a 12 Pro Max um, which I might upgrade to the 13. We'll see. And then I have, with that, I have the iWatch with the iWatch, the iWatch for the iPhone. But I'm, side note, I'm really enjoying this watch. Alright, so anyway, let's go ahead and get it open. You know, traditional Apple, you have your tab, which is good, keeps you from ruining the box, so. Again, this is the iPad Mini 6th Gen Wi-Fi only 64 gigabyte. I did not get the LTE model, and I did not get the larger size um, memory. Um, I just was not going to go and spend six, seven, eight hundred dollars on an iPad Mini. It wasn't happening. Okay. They are not using plastic anymore, which is good for the environment, obviously. Anyway. Just going to see what it is. This is the Type C cable, which is great that they transitioned from Thunderbolt to Type C in this. Uh, you do have a brick, and then you do get your manuals from Apple, which is going to come with your traditional things plus the sticker, I'm sure. No sticker on my. Huh. Surprisingly, it does not come with an Apple sticker that I see. Oh, there it is. I don't really care much about those, but you know, it's just something you get used to getting from Apple. You know, sometimes I'll stick it on a desk or whatever. I'm going to put this back in there. In this very to little no editing in this video, um, not a big fan of that. Uh, anyway, so. See that is the iPad Mini. Um, first impressions, is, I mean, at least for me, is just going to be how light it is, um, which is key for what I want to use this for, you know, being on the couch, being on the go quick. The iPad Pro is amazing, you know, when I'm on flights and stuff, I'm using the iPad Pro, but when I'm waiting to get on the flight, I'm going to use this. When I'm on the couch, I'm going to use this. When I want to jot quick notes for the business, I'm going to use this. And it's been shown a million times, but I'll show you guys, you know, you do have your fingerprint sense reader here and power button you do have the volume up and down buttons here which a lot of people complain that they moved it from the side up here I think that's a really silly complaint in my opinion um, because of the size you know you're able to you know put the iPad pencil on the side and cover the whole thing um, you do have stereo speakers so you're gonna have the grills on both sides again type C um, yeah um, that's the magnet for the pencil Anyway, let's go ahead and boot this up, see how long it takes. 
And while I'm doing that, we'll go ahead and start unboxing the other items. And I'm going to leave this here so you can see. And as that becomes available, we'll go ahead and um, continue it. And it's already on. All right. Let me go ahead and set this up really quickly. If your iPhone or iPad, where's the phone? Alright, so I'll show you guys. It's already block off my email for a second, but it's already doing the thing. And just like every other iPad, let me type my code in. Sorry, guys. Um, just like all the other iPads you set up, um, I have the Apple TV 4K. Um, they make it very easy for people to go ahead and transition their information over here um, without a hiccup. So it is going to take a couple minutes to set up. So we're going to, like I said, we're going to continue and unbox, uh, set up later. Uh, we'll just keep going. Okay, this is the Apple Pencil 2. Just been around for a little while now, so this shouldn't be anything out the ordinary to anyone. Um, just make sure that okay, you have your little tab, just pull out. Okay, there's the pencil. Then you get your paperwork with the pencil, which isn't anything impressive, it's just paperwork. So I put it aside, and what we've all seen before, and Love, which is the Apple Pencil too. So what I'll do is that's how it attaches to the side. As you see, it almost fits perfectly. Let me go ahead and do this. What is it wanting? Continue. Continue. Setting all my cards, okay, account services unavailable, okay, setting up Apple Cash. We'll put that to the side for now. When it does this thing. Again, there's very little to no editing on here, so you guys are going to be with me on this journey. Add this card later. Add this card later. And all it's doing is trying to add my cards, but just for qu quickness of the video, instead of me sitting here typing all the information in, I'm just going to go ahead and bypass all this until later. Set up later. There should be a universal button in the beginning. I think that would really save a lot of people issue where you can just get to the, the um, operating system instead of having to continuously click um, do later, continuously click do later. Okay, so it's gonna restore what it needs to restore from the cloud. Last but not least is the iPad full smart folio. This is expensive. I mean, this was 59 bucks, I believe. Uh, looking at Amazon, there's a lot of knockoffs that I could have gotten that are ten, fifteen, twenty dollars. I'm just not big on using knockoffs, you know. It is what it is. Um, so I know I overpaid for this same smart photo case we've had for ten years. Anyway, where's the tape? It is taped somewhere. Hold on, guys. Okay, no, it isn't taped. Okay. Nothing in the box as far as paperwork. I mean, why would there be? Let's go ahead and get the box out of the way. Let you let me put it on so you guys can see what this looks like. Whoops. As you know, it's going to pretty much just snap on. It doesn't feel. No, it feels alright. So that's how the iPad mini is going to look when it's closed on the smart folio case, which is very sleek in my opinion. Go ahead and brighten this up, sorry. 
Very sleek in my opinion. Okay, sorry. I'm gonna do this real quick. So it's gonna prepare. Um, I know you have different angles that you can do this, like so, you know. Is it like this? Yeah, that's one of the angles I've seen some people do is they'll have it like this. Okay, well, I'll figure it out. I haven't used a folio case literally since probably <laughs> years. I, it's just since the first iPad Pro actually, so it's been what, four or five years? I just had the keyboard cases. Anyway, so that's the unboxing first impressions on the iPad mini. Cannot restore backup. The server is currently unavailable. Continue. Set up later. So let me do this again. Now it's back to the restore iCloud. So I just got an error saying that the server was unavailable. It booted me back to skipping everything again, and now it's trying to restore from iCloud again. I'm not sure if that's a universal issue. If it says the server is down, it wouldn't matter what brand new device you're trying to appear on it. It will give you that issue. Um, but yeah, that's just to note that it did um, kick me out. And yeah. So this is the iPad Mini Gen 6, 64 gigabyte space gray. Uh, unboxed the Smart Folio case. Um, and we also unboxed the Apple Pencil 2. And yeah, uh, my initial impressions again will be it feels just like any other iPad, which is, you know, good build quality. Uh, it feels premium. And it's really nothing to complain. My Galaxy Tab S7 Plus, which I'm actually selling, uh, but my Galaxy 7S Plus tablet feels premium also. Um, I love the operating system. Um, I love that tablet. I just like to get the newest um, that's out. And I know that the, the Tab S8 Ultra, whatever it's called, the, the super large screen one's probably coming out um, sometime in the beginning, middle of next year. So I'm going to get that. So I'm just trying to sell that one. To, you know, have the money ready, you know, when I have to pounce on that 12, 13, 14, 15 hundred dollar tablet, whatever it's going to be when it comes out. So, um, it is restoring from the iCloud again. Um, I actually want to do another video on, you know, my impressions as far as performance, um, how big of an issue Jelly Scroll is from the average consumer. Um, I did test um, the device at a friend's house. Jelly Scroll is not as big of an issue as they try to make it seem. Um, the biggest, bigger issue to me is this only being a 60 hertz screen coming from the M1 iPad, uh, which is obviously since this is a Pro, it's going to have the 120 um, hertz. Um, that is the biggest issue, not necessarily the Jelly Scroll. Um, I, I really don't see what everyone's complaining about. Um, it's a $500 tablet. I mean, come on, man. Okay, did it again. Cannot restore from. cannot restore the servers down so that's a problem because okay well I, I went ahead and skip that and now the way like I said I'm going to start another video we're what 13 minutes into this um, a lot of it was talking a lot of it was setting up so 13 minutes in which could have probably took off a three four minutes if I would have just skipped it from the beginning and we're into not now. We're into the operating system, so I was able to open it. It had a 92% battery on it when I opened it. I was able to, let me zoom in a little bit. I was able to unbox the Apple Pencil 2, the case, everything's set up now. Um, as you can see, it's going to work flawlessly. This is, you guys are seeing it for the first time, just like I am. And magnetize. Let's right, we'll see what it does. Welcome to S Pencil. Continue. Mm -hmm. Continue. Done. I already know everything that's going on, so I don't need to worry about that. And now we're in. Brightness seems kind of dim. Oh, it gets plenty bright. Um, I heard a lot of people complain about the brightness outside. I mean, it's only, I believe, 500 nits. I believe it's 500 nits. Um, but that's fine for what I'm going to use it for. I, I really don't see myself using it um, in direct sunlight. Um, another thing is, I just want to double check. I know, like I said, it has stereo speakers. Um, it's an 8.13 inch display, which is a LCD LED backlit display with IPS technology. Um, 
the resolution is going to be 2266 by 1488. Um, it does have 326 uh, PPI, which is pixels per inch, which is supposedly the largest of any iPad um, that they've ever produced. Um, yeah, it is 500 nits. Uh, it does have True Tone fingerprint sense reader, which is on the top next to the, on the opposite end of the power button here, like I, the fingerprint sense reader, power button. It's on the left side, fingerprint reader. It's going to be on the right. Um, it is A15 Bionic, like I said, six cores, five core graphics card. Um, the camera is going to be the 12 megapixel wide camera. Um, you do know, well, maybe you don't, but the, fir the front camera is going to be the technology where it's going to follow you um, depending on where you are in the, in the image without having to readjust the iPad. Um, I'm not exactly sure what that technology is called. Um, I do not remember the name, but literally if you move your head to the left on the front face, the camera's going to follow you pretty much. I'll set it up later, not now. And yeah, I mean, nothing else, you know, really of note that I would, you know, talk about now. Again, everything else is, is simply an iPad, so it's going to be do everything that's your iPad Air, which even, even the iPad Air has a, a, an A14 processor, so this is a newer gen processor to give you a little bit longer longevity, and um, yeah, and yeah, this is the first time I've used it also. Um, so let me, I can, what is this? Okay. Huh. Okay. I know they upgraded the operating system, so I'm guessing you do. You can do split screen. They made it a lot easier, so theoretically, I should be able to do this and then split screen. into okay thought so so they made it a lot easier as far as you being able to split screen I'm assuming this is something that you're going to have on both the iPad Pro Air and I'm assuming the original iPad um, which I like that you know that's, that's very nice um, again it feels great who is this for I know it's going to perform on par as the iPad Air. That that is first and foremost. It's not going to give you the processing power of an M1 iPad Pro. Let's just get that out of the way. But it's not going to be significantly less. If you want to look at benchmarks, there is a plethora of individuals who um, have done their benchmarks on this. And yes, the scores are slightly lower, but it's not enough to what's the word to affect how you're going to feel on an everyday basis using this tablet, unless you're a uh, a video, um, you know, if you're a, what's the word I'm trying to use? If you're someone that records a lot of videos and you want to edit videos and you want to, you know, use Procreate and all these applications, then maybe I would go at least the um, iPad Air. But even then, as of right now, it's A14. I would wait till that refreshes. I would go minimum iPad Pro 11 inch, uh, especially for that 120 hertz. So yeah, let you guys know how I feel about this, and thanks for watching.